The new woman was a creature of modernity and of modern technology, as say here, uh, in an example of photo, photojournalism, the Pittsburgh Courier was actually something that circulated national, nationally and was one of the main publications of the Har Harlem Renaissance. It was in tandem with such visual technologies as, of mass representation as lithography, um, so of course a non-photographic media, um, offset printing, photographs, stereographs, and the cinema that new womanhood went global in her many uh, incarnations. <laughs> we love this one. This is, well, I'll just, I'll, I'll tell you that this is Mrs. Mitchell. Um, and Mrs. Mitchell was the first documented, at least, uh, undersea, female undersea diver. And on the left, you can see her smiling right before she goes down. And on the right, she's come up and her bun is kind of fallen over. And she looks, we think, like she's being drawn and quartered as she's being helped out of her outfit. But this is from Despin Estradagakos' essay on female firsts. This was a major kind of media phenomenon to show the first art female architect or indeed undersea diver. So during the 90-year uh, span examined by contributors to the New Woman International, visual representation provided some of the most fertile ground for defining and expressing new womanhood. Other kinds of pictures, which were obviously the product of an artist's hand, painting above all, but also lithography and posters, which has been really substantively uh, investigated by a lot of people. All of these helped to define the new woman. But we assert that this trailblazing figure was most at home in quintessentially modern, mechanically based forms of imagery. By concentrating on photography and film, this book identifies an essential link between gender, technology, and spectacle, and it explores the camera-made images that allowed for an increased circula circulation of representations of modern femininity. Film and photography are famously perceived to be indexical media, in that viewers see these images as direct traces of the real world. And this aspect gave these media a powerful cultural relevance for viewers.